Let's call it another one. Nothing. He's going through it. He's just 
Who is that, bro? That shit just happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck kind of intuition is that? It was like his dad. Oh, well, that's weird. His dad's spirit is in the helmet. Okay, like his spirit, the spirit of his dad really kind of low key helped him or anything. You know, he was talking shit. He's some shit. <laughs>
cow. See that switch? I used to flip that while walking. I work these two stations to teleport the cow to our tavern in Maine. Fuck what I help you. Once they tell you the truth, like they do the judo master, you'll join us. That's what I said. That's what I said. Max Payne shit. Nah, I say, give me two guns and see what I do with it. 
but this series was this series was fire. I really love that they capped it off with the Justice League cameo, yeah. even though we only saw the Flash and Aquaman, which makes a lot of sense because both their movies are dropping this year. Yeah. Great plug in. Um, I liked I liked the comic relief that Peacemaker gave us and all the action that he gave us too. It reminds me of one of the it reminds me of the greatest superhero of all time, Deadpool, so, okay. with his comedy and his blood and his gore, even though he would give it to both of them. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Peacemaker because he did his thing and shout out to the torpedo helmet because without the torpedo helmet, then the cow would still be alive. And out of my I'm sorry I was wrong about you. You did your thing, man. I thought you was an op, but there was no ops over here, homie. And Amanda Waller, no more task force X task force. Task force X for you. Out of my we were right about you. You know, you just your character just progressed and so and bloomed into a beautiful butterfly. 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 No <laughs> pun intended. No, no pun intended. I, did that. I don't agree with the fact that, you know, um, we killed these butterflies because because they were in the same situation that humans were putting themselves in with destroying their planet, they lost their own, which is why they had to migrate to another. So I think that the decision of trying to be, make Earth a better planet, like more habit, habitable, I don't know, I think that's the word. Um, more livable, I should say, for creatures like humans to live there a lot longer. I think that was the smartest bet. I understand the fact that they wanted to um, leave that up to humans to decide, but I feel like in that situation, for the human's sake, it was smart for them to at least lead lead that project in making work Earth a better livable place. A conversation should have happened. Yeah, that's what should have happened. But I, I think like the butterflies just took over bodies. I was gonna say, what, what about the people that they took their bodies? What yeah. about they're like Joel? No, they they would have no saved their bodies. You are everybody. You're gonna be my my fucking uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, my vessel. vessel. Yeah. And then they say you you're gonna be the one who stops global warming because they kill the fucking world. Who are, I don't know if that's fair. Who wants to say that all the people that they took over were actually bad people? You know what I'm saying? With um. What's his face? See, we see we did the detective. Oh, the with detective Mern. was a great woman. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mern, the detective was a great woman. With, with Mern, like, I understand his situation to why he took over that body. Yeah. But still, not everybody was necessarily a bad person. And at the end of the day, you're taking their body against their will. I don't think you should do anything. And that's yeah. why Mern, the, the butterfly yeah, that was in Mern, didn't yeah. agree with it. Mm -hmm. The uh, butterfly itself, that's why I was like, yo, bro, they was really killing mad people. And if they were saying, like, yo, let's have a conversation with humans. Yo, let's have a little conference and shit. Yo, we believe that we can save your plan because our our plan went through the same shit. That would be one thing. I think they were already doing that in terms of politics and taking over the people who are in position to make those kind of decisions. That's why I feel like I agree with this. I agree with you. The way they went about it, controlling other people. You know what I'm saying? I guess they don't will. Now nah, that's fucked up. Yeah. And they had no other way. Yeah, because then you're taking away people's right to choose. Well, they're giving them an option. I don't know. I'm good. Yeah, you take over my body, you're, were, you're not going to be much of a problem. There was no the option by saving it. The, like, basically, the option is I can save your planet, and at that point, you guys don't have to worry about your planet being destroyed, and you can have all the options you want. Because that's I feel like that's what it is. But them yeah. getting in the position of power, like uh, political power, yeah. I feel like you'd have to win that right, you know what I'm saying? Or take over that person and present, have these opportunities. To allow the world to change, I, I feel like there's not there's not one person that makes a decision to end global warming. Of course not. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like uh, that was the option that they that they presented to the people um, by taking over said people. That well, were that was an option though. They just it said wasn't. they just said more of I agree with you saying that like they, like in order for you to make those decisions or make those uh, things happen, you have to get people that's in the position of power. Yeah. But I feel like they noticed that. And created no option. They just noticed that, yo, we have to take over the people that's in that, like the top, in order to just make it happen. And it, rather than having a conversation with anybody about, yo, we should do this. And it seems like they're smarter in some way, and in the same way yeah. of like they just live longer type shit. So they they have a lot more um, foresight into what's gonna happen. So I feel like it's unfair though. Like I can understand the logic. I can understand somebody saying, yo, if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna save the world for this much more years. Would you, but like, I just think it's like, comes out of like, are people inherently bad or people inherently dumb? Like, do you not believe in the human race? 
You know what that's I mean? That's all I'm saying. Like, that's basically what they're doing. They're saying, I don't believe that the human race has the education, the smart, the... To eventually the, figure to it out. To eventually say, yo, okay, this is that. And I understand what she said in the terms of, like, American people or, like, the people of the world Politicians. are already, yeah, are already, like, steered a certain way from people and they don't only care about their only shit. Like, yo, minor inconveniences turn into infringement on freedom. Like, I understand what she's saying, but I think it's fucked up when you're, like... I'm not going to give the people a chance to change, uh, adapt. Nothing. Like, like <laughs> basically, at that point, we should have killed John Lewis, too. Because mm. your stupid-ass world died, too. And so, <laughs> uh, so our, our stupid-ass shit was your stupid-ass world. And then the same shit. But that, 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 that failure like, you know allowed, them, allowed them to make it, uh, to become smarter and know what to do if, in a situation like that again. But, yeah, you know what I'm That's why smart people should run the world. The smart people, like... You should just take people with the highest IQ and say, yo, my nigga, what's going to happen? Like, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, at that point, we should have had any nah, right. They, even they, they even actually Evans, went through the experience of losing the play. So but know. even with Evans, even with Evans' explanation, that just tells me that that's a typical agenda of a villain. Because we've seen a lot of villains be like, we should let these true. people yeah, out yeah. because <laughs> they're not superior beings. Because what they're doing to their planet is crazy. Let's... Let's go out with the old and in with the new. We see that agenda with villains all the time. So this is some typical villain shit. But it's not villain. I don't feel like it's that yeah. villainous because I don't think they they thought they were a superior being. She put she presented it in a way where it's like, yo, um, these politicians they would hide the truth for economic gain. It's mm-hmm. like, yo, the truth is that this this planet where these diseases, these, these uh, uh, a lot of like storms or whatever, like. Global warming, all this shit's happening to our planet, planet because of the things that we're doing to it. Yeah. They will hide that fact just so they can make money off of it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that that's fucked up because after a, a long time, obviously we're going to fuck up our planet. It's sure. not going to be some, a place that we can live at. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say after that. But, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was going somewhere, but I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. Nah, but still, I feel you, but I don't know. I, I feel you, but like, once you take people over, and you're you're pretty much killing these people when you take them over. You it makes you know better than the people that you're trying to like not be like at the end of the day because you're doing something. You're pretty much uh, you're killing people first of all, and you're not giving them a choice. But I, to but make it in a situation where like a politician put, uh, let's say we ignore the fact that this disease is spawning from something that we've been putting out to the planet, the pollution or whatever the fuck it is. In the decision of me saying, yo, that science is fake, I'm killing those people the war and like gaining this disease or like becoming you know you know what I'm trying to say? But I, I get what you're saying, but I think that's that true. I think that the difference is the difference is one thing you said that's incorrect like you said that they don't think they're higher than than the humans, but they definitely do. Because they said it at the end when he was like, Yo, why did you buy that beer? But nigga, these humans are so stupid. They think they're way smarter than humans. They think they're smarter, but I don't think there's they for me, for me, I could, I could think I'm smarter than you, yeah. and we're both human. But like, I, you know what? Like, this like, information, I. Right, so here's my thing. I get what you're saying. People are gonna steer you some way either way. Yeah. People are gonna steer you some way either way. But at least you have the option of like, you can look for that information. You just don't want to. Mm-hmm. Like, the information's out there. Like, there's a scientist that will say, yo, this shit is the pollution's there. There's, cause there's enough humans in the world that are smart enough that they to say their own shit. They give facts. They say their own facts, and this is that. Mm-hmm. Now, if you choose to, to listen to Robbie, or you choose to listen to Jerry, you choose to listen to Patrick, that's on you. It's more so like, they're like, I'm gonna take over the person that, it seems like the people that make the most decisions is the people they're trying to take over. Yeah. So it's like, if you can take over the people that make the most decisions, have the most pull, then you probably have the most pull. There's no one person, no one human that has a hive mind that like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure there's, there's corporations or things like that that are built that can try to force you some type of way. But I think like, if I, I don't know, because I guess even in this situation, I guess humans still have choice, but it's like they've taken over. I don't know how many people they've taken over at this point, too. I don't know. Like, but the thing is, regardless of, like, they, they, regardless they, of their shit's fucked up, though, they're, they're trying to impose the will of how we're going to go about saving the planet. Yeah. So if a person is going to go around killing X amount of people that's in charge, they automatically think that they're a superior race because yeah. my opinion of how I can save this planet is over yours. I don't believe that the, the real humans, senator could have done this. Yeah, you know, I don't think the real senator or the real president or humans in general is capable of saving ourselves. I assume that you're gonna lead yourself to the same doom that we we already went to. Fuck that, I'm taking over. So just from that decision alone, I can say that they think that it's a period. Right? I say if somebody sees you doing mad fucked up shit, he was like, 
damn, I did that before. I'm gonna take that nigga over. I know where his life is going. He going to the penitentiary, little nigga. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, and they, like, and they need a plan it themselves. They're really only doing this so they can have a planet that they can live on. Realistically, if you really think about it, they're like, yo, I need to migrate to a planet that's likable, like of the, I mean, it's, uh, same type of habitat as my old planet, so I can survive. So you just, you only try to save so you can have a new place to live at. Yeah, it's so almost as if they're saying these humans are incapable of redeeming themselves and making themselves better. What's the difference between like, them and Marvel? Yeah, Marvel is like, I'm going to save one of these humans by putting them niggas in a... Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, typical village shit. Niggas is like, villains <laughs> really like, they, they'll have a, a agenda that in their mind is a way to save humans and shit like that. But in perspective, they're still villains because well, they consider it necessary. You're not giving us choice. Not choice. If it's like, all right, so if we make this place more a livable place, and then we create more butterflies, then we're just gonna take over the human population. Mm-hmm. Then I'll be like, okay, yeah. Then that's Which we don't know it could happen. You know? Yeah, we we don't know, but we don't have that idea. Oh, this, to me, this it, it looks like a few of them came here. If they wanted to live, they need to create a place where they can live forever. Mm-hmm. They need to make these decisions for, with uh, control of the world leaders to make this place a more livable place for us. Yeah, but and I think and I think I think that choice on like um based on the decisions that the human race is making at the current moment, maybe they're not gonna be around any longer than uh, than we were on our previous planet. So let's put the um decisions in place for them to make it so we last here longer and that they live here longer than we were in our previous planet. Uh, okay, so uh, what you want them to live on your planet. Based on what you see in the show, right? And the, the extremes that they went to. your body. Real right? shit, yeah. Like, <laughs> I would not give my body. But yeah, you got to migrate and y'all have this whole new species here knowing how they are, how smart they are. I, I think there's aliens on Earth right now. I knew I that. Knew that knew but but you yeah, actually, like, so. actually a community of aliens that you know is about to repopulate. And live we don't know if they're going to repopulate. Nah, how they're going to repopulate. Honestly, honestly, they're going to migrate here. They're, they're looking for a new place to live in. So and it's funny repopulate. that you said we don't know that because literally, um, what was the head the head one's name? Goff. Goff. Goff, when he took over the police officer's body, she set off a signal that brought, brought a the whole <laughs> bunch of them to Earth. He said, so all right. all of that, <laughs> all of that, and it looked like they was trying to repopulate the whole Earth for themselves. Because why set off that signal at that point? So they're, they're, they're looking for a new planet to live on. Yeah. They don't know if they yeah. can make well, I'm saying you're not. You don't know if they're capable of repopulating. Yeah, yeah. But still, they had a whole planet that they lived on prior. Just so it, ain't it, look, it ain't look like there was that many. Just just say, not even at all. all. Yeah, it been like 500 tops. <laughs> they 500 for a thousand more years on Earth, my nigga. I'll take it. Yeah. They I'll probably could have because we don't know how they go about reproducing anyway. Yo, I say, yeah, you think a human made Tesla? Nigga say, yo, Elon <laughs> Musk. <laughs> Genius, Kanye West, come on. Them niggas all got butterflies in them. Yeah, right. Kanye yeah. a butterfly. Yeah, Kanye really. is a butterfly, bro. This show was fire, though. Real shit. It was lit, bro. Shout out to DC, man. Y'all really did y'all thing on this one. Rob, you think it's okay that think butterflies take over people?
Who buys these? [laughs] Yo, what the fuck? [laughs] Oh my god. I'm I'm buying the butterfly now. [laughs] [laughs] Then who does it? Who buys the milk? Yeah. But if you're buying a ten pack of like let's say Montreal steak steak spice, how much? Yeah. Mm. Do you wanna know wh- how much, how many calories does a steak have 